My DaVinci Pro just arrived this morning, and uh, after unboxing it, I noticed there was an issue uh, with shipping. Uh, let's try to get in the back. You might be able to see. Let's see if we can come over here. But if you see that, that it is broken in the back right corner, and that really stinks. Um, uh, there's actually some black plastic that goes onto this, I guess the... I, got, I call this the build support, the build plate support. Um, maybe you can look in the front, uh, but it's a very simple system. Um, there is a, a, uh, a nut that adjusts the bed up and down, but there's some black plastic um, that's pretty thin right here, and it broke off in the back corner. So, oh no, so how the bed is really unlevel. There's no way to level a bed because it's unsupported. Um, here's a little simple trick. You know, obviously call um, XYZ Printing to have your machine um, replaced or fixed. But here's a really quick fix that I figured out. So if you wanted, if, let's say the machine came in and it was Christmas and, man, you really wanted to play with it. Um, here is what I have done. You take the bolt or you take the bolt all the way off. So we can get it all the way off. Is it off? There we go. So I take the bolt all the way off. Let's see, is that off? I think I'm almost there. I think that's it. Let's see if I can. There we go. So here is what the broken pieces look like, so you guys have an idea. Um, but there is the spring. There is the spring. There is the black piece of plastic. And here is the. Um, Here's the adjustment nut with a piece of plastic around it. Here's what I, what is what I did to uh, to resolve it so the machine can print today. So first off, I put the spring back into place. I'm sorry, I'm kind of doing this with one hand. So I put the spring back into place above, and then I get the uh, the nut right here. It used it typically. Oh, let's put the light back on. But it typically goes down with that knob going down. I flip it upside down. There, you might be able to see a little better. Um, I turn that, there's a little knob right here. I turn that knob up. And then, pulling the bed, pull, adjusting the bed, I put the, let's see. I put the, uh, the nut above the bed. So now, as you can see, it's leaning way the wrong way, but I can go and tighten this thing. I can go tighten this down a lot. So let's see if I can tighten this down. And while you're tightening it down, try to adjust the spring in the back, center it up while you're tightening it, or if it becomes off-centered, it's kind of hard to, to twist it. And then I just keep on going. So let's tighten it up. There we go. But you gotta get the idea. So you tighten that all the way up. And so when it's tightened all the way up, you can have the bed uh, semi-leveled. Now obviously go into your settings up here. You can go home, um, utilities, and uh, calibration. Go to your calibration and just let the machine run its calibration like it typically does. Um, it will go and touch off all these corners, um, but when it's touching off the corners, see how the bed still kind of moves a little bit? It won't move because it's conductivity, um, but to be extra secure, just go grab yourself a little rubber band just like this and stretch it over the back. Oh, stretch it over the back um, connector, and then you can go over to the other side and stretch it right there. And see, now, maybe I can adjust that. But now the rubber band is secure, and so the bed doesn't want to move at all, um, or there's, you have to apply a lot of pressure. Um, but that is an easy way to, if you have a, a broken a broken um, bed support, or whatever this black thing's called, um, that you can get the machine running that day. 
obviously this is not a permanent fix. This is an easy workaround. Um, so you're able to print. Um, but obviously contact uh, XYZ Printing and tell them your issues. Take your pictures. Um, what else? Oh, so you're running your calibration. Um, you can leave the rubber band on. See the rubber band's kind of stretch underneath. You can leave the rubber band on when it's doing its touch test. Um, but it's going to tell you to adjust these knobs. Take the rubber band off. Adjust the knobs in whatever direction. Put the rubber band back on. And to give you an idea, uh, I did do this. And I was able to print off uh, their logo or their sample piece without a problem. It looks really good. Um, so this is a good um, fix. Hope this helps, guys. Please leave comments in the bottom and subscribe.